Got it on the fall right there. Just winding it through. I was just dropping it back down on the grass and he picked it up. That's a spotty on the double rig. There you go. The goal is to pick up a second fish on that extra bait hanging down. I got that all connected up with the swivel, but only got the one. It's a great tide this morning. Right now it's peak high tide and it'll slowly be dropping until one o'clock. I'll be able to fish a nice tide swing while I'm out here. And a couple of you guys were asking, why do I fish Mission Bay so much? First off, it's close to my house, so it's kind of my home body of water right now. Also, I've been busy with family and with war baits, so it's been pretty busy at the shop, and I haven't had as much time to fish as I'd like, but we're working on it. We're getting a different workflow going right now, so hopefully I have more time to get out and film these videos. And I love fishing Mission Bay. I've been fishing here for a long time, and I love the water column. The 13 foot across most of the bay, it makes fishing it pretty easy. I can fish a variety of war baits out here. I know I can get bit. I'm happy to use the gear. Spotted bay bass are super fun to catch and there's always an occasional big halibut. Those are some key reasons why I like coming out and fishing Mission Bay. There we go. Yeah, that was the next cast out right there. Hit it on the fall. Just as it hit the bottom, picked up that bite. I think I need to tighten down my drag a little bit. Another one on that double rig. Cracking into him right there. Again, that one hit the, the heavier bait. The way I have it rigged up is I have two swivels. One is tied to the main line and one is loose on the braid. I want that one loose and free swimming so that hopefully a fish picks up that free swimming one while we're hooked up to another fish. You guys could also use a three-way swivel on that. And then I have it rigged to two war baits heads, a three-eighth ounce on the longer leader, and a quarter ounce on the shorter leader. So my baits are riding at two different water depths. That's so they don't get mixed up and tangled. There's some separation between the two baits. And I have these rigged up with four-inch Strike King Kevin Van Dam swim baits. First time using them. I actually like the plastic a lot. We got two fish on this one, so let's keep it going. There we go. That was a cool one. That was a really nice cast and wind. I felt them suck into it. A little bit better of a fish. A little bit better, not a ton. It was just jammed in there. Got in the mouth, he was just jammed in there. <laughs> Kind of making a move on them right now. Starting to get into a few of them. There we go. Small guy. Small guy, but he hit it. <laughs> small, small fish, dang. This is an aquarium bass, small guy. <laughs> Smallest one uh, I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Six inches. <laughs> oh my god. Big one. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Just lost a giant. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't say, I, honestly, I can't say I lost a giant because I didn't see it. But dude, I set the hook and that thing was solid. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> All good. Re-rig, keep it rolling. There we go. That's a winding hook up there. Single boy. Still looking like a schooled bait fish though. Even though we're getting just the one. <laughs> sharp teeth today. Very, very sharp teeth. Probably some bait fish eaters. Still rolling with these plastics. I do a little re-rig, kind of blew it out there. The fish seem to be closer to the bottom. So I'm, most of my bites have come either on the sink when the bait has hit the bottom 
or just winding it slowly over that eelgrass. I mean, water is warm. I got 67 degrees right here, so I would think with that warmer water, they'd be a little bit more active as far as eating faster moving baits. But I'm gonna take it any way I can get it. I just gotta give it to them the right way. <laughs> gotta make sure the presentation is how they want it. And if it's lower and slower, that's fine with me. Oh, yeah. Dude, good one. That was a sick bite. I was just jigging it, paused it, came and ate it. <laughs> good bite, not a not a, a sizable legal fish, but good bite. <laughs> So I switched over to the neck breaker and a Damiki air craw. So a little crawdad presentation, a little slower, lower in the water column. Since I'm fishing kind of shallow right now, I thought they might be eating little crustaceans. So here's what that bait looks like rigged up. 3 8 ounce red neck breaker, 3 oh hook, four inch Damiki air craw, and these appendages, they float. So when the bait hits the bottom, the craw floats up, looks like a crab or crustacean, or even a mollusk of some sort. Super bit. Set the hook and the thing was wrapped around structure. Bit me off. Broke me off. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. Tie. Tie heavier leader, I guess, but dude, another one lost. Dogfish. Dogfish. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Dogfish. Neck breaker. Little creature bait. at least let's see how good he is oh he feels heavy he feels heavy he feels heavy let's see <laughs> I don't know nice fish felt good <laughs> uh, not legal probably a 13 Mac and the neck breaker switched over to a 3 8 ounce camo head the, those docks kind of chewed up my baits a bit, man. I got, I lost a lot of baits in those docks. <laughs> All right, nice little spotty. Check out this little pale spotty has on his belly there. All right, guys, good to get another one. Stoked to be catching them. Had to change up the scenario a little bit. Going with that small bait fish presentation. There's a lot of bait fish in the water, so I'm trying to match that hatch. Nice little green bait, green head. Let's keep with it. There we go. Dude, you jumped on it. <laughs> Smack the heck out of it, dude. Oh my God, the bites are so good. The fish are so mediocre. <laughs> oh my God, dude. He stomped on it. Thunk, but. Not a giant. We need a big bite. Always need a big bite. And I've definitely missed some big bites today. Hopefully I can capitalize on some other bites throughout the morning. Still a chance to get a big one. Good one. Oh yeah, 
Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Oh, that was sick. Came off those. Came off that little kelp structure there. Oh man. <laughs> Getting a little bigger. <laughs> Look at that bait. That's sick. Yellow on the bottom. Teeth are super sharp. He got me good. Let's give this one a measure. He might be legal. Very, very sharp teeth on this guy. Oh, no measure. <laughs> he shook off and he's gone. All good. That was a bigger fish. Lit me up. Got me good. Sharp teeth. Shallow water, like in three foot of water. So a little something different for you guys maybe you haven't seen, like fishing shallow water like that but when you're fishing a neck breaker pretty weedless for the most part able to get in that skinny get that bait through that eelgrass and get those fish that haven't seen a bait in that skinny water one of the exciting baits i fished today was the neck breaker in 3 8 ounce red paired up with the Tamiki Aircraw with the neck breaker that swing head design is going to allow that bait to move around freely in the water column and plus these Tamikis have air appendages so when the bait is stopped the craw arms do float up and that really gets the fish fired up to eat the bait. The double rig was another effective bait it acts like a small school of bait fish and the goal is to get two on one cast. I had these rigged up with quarter ounce and 3 8 ounce war baits heads and a 4 inch Strike King plastic. We do make a variety of swim bait heads, including swim bait heads without weed guards. Those are available on the website if you need some for your arsenal. And when fishing that 3 foot depth water, I was using the 3 8 ounce neck breaker. Again with that Strike King 4 inch swim bait, I was able to get the bait through that eelgrass very effectively and was able to trigger some of those better fish to bite. That neck breaker really is weedless when it comes to eelgrass and it's a super fun bait to fish. I wanna thank you guys for subscribing. Since that last video, our numbers have grown and we are up. But if you're not subscribed, I wanna ask you to consider subscribing to the channel. We're still at about 55% of our viewers are unsubscribed. So we'd like you to join over Hit the subscribe button so you guys can be notified when we upload some new videos.